list of keys to one of the baddest of cars. <laughs> Detailing. Obsidian detailing. Too much? I think not. It's quite apropos. What with Bond being out at the moment. Very nice Aston in the booth this week. A V12 Vantage. In for a reasonable amount of work. Um, we're going to be splitting I'm going to be splitting the car up into three different sections. So we've got PPF, paint and carbon. The PPF is not something we've installed and it isn't one of the super modern films that we would. So it's not full coverage, it's just the clear bra style. So one third of the way up the bonnet, wings, and then bumper is done, part of the sills and part of the quarters. It's definitely done its job over the course of its life um, and it's starting to show a little bit of wear. So from a PPF perspective, we've got some, some just general fading and marring to tidy up, some deeper scratches which we want to minimize and quite a lot of etching up front where the bugs have been hitting it, resting on it and eating into it slowly. We can, you don't see it done very often, but you can polish, especially older PPFs like this, and they do respond quite well. Um, don't go over the top, don't generate too much heat, very obviously, but it works a treat, it does. They will be Probably just get an enhancement, single pad, single polish, uh, except for the worst areas where we will need to compound them. So that would be stage one, if you will. Stage two is the paint work. Now, as with our lastings, it's very obvious this paint is quite fragile, quite sensitive. <clears throat> it looks very grey and very dull there is a lot of swirling and an overwhelming amount of marring. However, it's very obvious underneath that there is some pretty magical paint. It's got like a red wine flake in it and it looks, oh, I can tell that it will look phenomenal. So that's going to get a dual stage enhancement. <clears throat> and I'm going to be finishing, excuse me. Mm. I'm going to be finishing with a primer polish. Obviously, I wanna take out as much swirling as possible, but my main focus, <coughs> excuse me, is the flake. I've got to bring that flake out to the forefront. A clean finish and flake pop is paramount on this so yes we're going to take out as much swirling as possible but I am going to dial back that initial combo just a little because any marring or heavy marring that we put in we've then got to obviously deal with in the second stage and I want that second stage to only be about gloss I don't want to be trying to remove any marring. <clears throat> so we'll dial in a combination that is effective at defect removal, but is finishing as clean as humanly possible. And any areas where we want, we have to push our luck a little bit, we will follow up with an intermediate stage. So technically in for a dual enhancement, dual stage enhancement, but in some places I foresee us having to do a third, an intermediate stage to just knock down anything that we might induce so that once we're ready to prime, the whole car is 
is the same, it's evenly finished. And then there is the carbon. Carbon is in very good condition. As with most carbons on most high-end cars, it has been polished though and does have some hologramming on it. So we will very simply knock that out with a, you know, a, a basic enhancement and then that too can be primed. And then the whole thing can be ceramic coated. The paint and the PPF that's down the side is going to be coated with Titan Coatings Zeus. It goes over primer polish as well. It, we all know 99% of the looks of a vehicle comes from the polishing, but it has to be said, Zeus does add just that little something. Uh, but the PPF up front and the lights that will get Vulcan, the rubberized coating that you uh, saw on the white BMW, I think it was most recently. That is probably the best coating to play with PPF. Um, and it also responds very well to being up front and protecting against very, very bad etchings and so on. So, so a mixture of two to three stages of polishing, depending on what part of the car we're on. Two separate coatings at two separate stages and just a whole load of dripping wet, flake popping, stunning V12 badassery. This thing is going to look killer. So let's not waste any more time. I'm gonna go and put another pot of coffee on. I suggest you do the same and let's get this done.
Say you love me, say you like you mean Cause lately I've been wondering if we should be together Tell me how you feel, it's now or never, now or never But you're yelling at me for something I didn't even do Making it so hard for me and I think I need a vacation all we ever do now is complaining I've been getting tired of it lately oh, Feels like we're battling Maybe it's better if we're on our own to the end of the primer polish once I've finished the car and it's all buffed off that's the polishing that's anything to do with the paintwork done for the day I will do the interior and tidy up the wheels just to make sure everything's right go home for the day when we come back tomorrow we'll do a very light wipe down because we've used the primer polish we're not using solvent based um, panel wipes it will just be a an oil removing or like a standard detailing wipe down product for example like Gion Prep in this case I will be using in the car care filler killer um, won't be spraying it over the car like we normally do with a panel wipe it will literally just be a case of a couple of light mists on a plush cloth just buff that surface down just to make sure that anything that might be sitting on it is removed it won't disturb the primer, it won't disturb the resins and then we will coat directly over the top of that. So let's go get it. Even more cold, even I guess it's one of those, watch Amanda Nunes fight again one more time before she, um, you know, says happy trials to MMA. That's really the only selling point to me if you try to book uh, Amanda Nunes versus Dumont. D Dumont, um, Dumont. But uh, yes, um, as AK would say, that was a fight. <laughs> it was a fight. It was a fight. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I, yeah. yeah, she did what she had to do. It was, uh, you know, and, and listen, I, you know, don't judge a book by its cover or judge a book by its cover kind of guy. Because normally when we have cards like this, it's always, you go in there with kind of low expectations. There's usually some fun finishes, like a whole bunch of them. And we're like, you know what? For a card that looked like this on paper, this was not that bad. This one overall, not great. It, it just wasn't that great. It seemed like, when it started four, so it was like five and a half hours, it seemed like it was a nine hour fire. It just was. We had some great moments. We'll talk about Jim Miller. 
because that was awesome. Did you know poster a promo video for Casa vs. Vittori? Was there no poster? I thought I saw like, I don't know if I saw like a UFC like North American poster. I think there was like a Brazilian poster made that I saw on like one of the UFC sites. I think Marcel Dorf might have posted it. So if you want to go through his Twitter, it might be there. Y yeah, yo. Um, you know, yeah, yeah. We're talking about it throughout yeah. the car. So. And it's kind of true. I mean, I'm looking at topology. They always have the fight poster, and it's just kind of generic, you know, the generic, uh, you know, fight announcement type of graphic. So as previously stated, we're going for Zeus on this one. Honestly, Zeus is probably the perfect, or close to, at the very least, the perfect single layer coating that I think there is. It's a three to five year coating. It's quite hard and yet flexible. It's semi self healing. So even though the coating is relatively hard and will resist swirls, a color like this is going to accrue at least some damage over its ownership. The fact that it's semi self healing means that it won't resist everything, but some of the damage that it does accrue will be able to be eliminated through the use of heat, be that hot water, infrared lamps, or a hot hairdryer slash a heat gun. It beads phenomenal, it looks phenomenal. You can top it if you want to, and if you don't want to, you don't need to doesn't suffer from hideous water spotting like some coatings do. It is, it's just, it is the perfect all-rounder. That's probably the best word for it, an all-rounder. Every customer I have ever applied this for has been absolutely over the moon. Dirt retention and dirt release with this one is also on point. So it really is a worthy upgrade for the right vehicle. It is well worth the small extra in price to have this applied.
Only a quick interior job for this one, nothing too fancy. So we're going to clean the leather with Dr. Leather wipes and apply Dr. Leather dye blocker afterwards, even though the, even though the leather is black, it still benefits from some kind of protection. The leather dash will also be cleaned by the steering wheel, gaiter, handbrake, etc, etc. Uh, any plastics or anything on the doors, they'll be deep cleaned with an APC. Uh, the glass will be cleaned inside and out and then finally we'll hoover ourselves out, clean around the door jams again just in case there's any dust that's built up. Again, nothing fancy, it's just a simple valet to make the interior look as good as the exterior.